And there is sometimes, uh, Madam Deputy Speaker, when uh, something is proposed which is, uh, becomes personal to you and you realise the government is about to do something um, fantastically stupid. Um, and I think in those circumstances, one has a duty uh, to speak up. And I, am a, I use poppers. I out myself um, as a popper user and would be directly affected uh, by this uh, legislation. And uh, I'm astonished uh, then to find that, that it's, it's proposing uh, to, be, uh, to be banned. And frankly, so would, uh, I think, very many other uh, gay men. And if I follow my own mindset reaction to this, it simply serves to bring the whole law into disrepute. And it then begins to uh, bring a, a if, if choosing to ban this, um, which I've been using, and I know that have been used as, as the extremely, an extremely good speech from the uh, opposition spokesman, have been used for, for decades, uh, then uh, respect for the law uh, is going to fly out the window for, uh, for people who's, if, if that's the drug that they use. And all the warnings that are contained in paragraph 43 of the uh, Select Committee's report, and particularly that from the Gay Men's Health Collective, saying it results in increased Class A and B drug use and increased transmission of sexually transmitted infections, uh, is, uh, is obviously going to happen. And, and driving the supply of, uh, of, of these underground um, simply puts it in the hands of criminals